welcome back all so this is exercise problem 4.61 and uh, in this question we are going to talk about another method for solving the circuit is the source transformation method so what is basically the source transformation method let me give you some uh, hints about it so if we have any source of voltage and uh, here the voltage source can be written like this one because with any uh, voltage source we have the resistors in the series so this uh, so this source and resistor and this whole circuit can be transformed into another circuit which can be drawn like this okay so the same uh, voltage circuit can be uh, drawn like this one and the same current source which is of is can be drawn like this one so this is the vice versa uh, transformation so voltage source can be transformed into the current source and similarly the current trans, uh, source can be transformed into a voltage source so in order to solve this circuit we have to find out the value of i naught by using the source transformation method and this is the exercise question 4.61 in 10th edition of the book so we have to find out the i naught value and then in part b of this question we have to verify that whether uh, the uh, quantity which we have found out by using the sort transformation uh, is valid or not okay so uh, let us first uh, go towards the source transformation method and in this method for here we have two current sources so first of all we have to transform these two current sources this is the first one and this one and the parallel resistor with it is this one okay so we have to transform these two sources in order to transform them we first have to write them in terms of a voltage source okay and a resistor here it will be written like this one similarly uh, this source is a current source and we have to transform it uh, by replace it with a, a voltage source which will be like this one okay so now we have these two uh, sources and as the uh, direction of the current is from upward to downward so as we can see here that the polarity of a current source if the current is moving away so the uh, current will always move away from a positive terminal so here the polarity of this source will be like Okay, this one okay so now this is the vs1 and this is the vs2 this is the r1 this is the r2 these are basically r2 resistors and the whole other circuit is this one okay so this is the remaining circuit okay uh, so, sorry I when I will replace it with the series resistor I will not redraw it here okay so this is the uh, remaining circuit here so 150 ohm is the resistance of this resistor so now we have to find out the value of R1 and R2 and similarly VS1 and VS2 so the value of VS1 in order to find the value of VS1 we know the value of the current source we know the value of the resistor so by ohm's law v is equal to i r i have the value of 25 milliamps multiplied by the resistor which is the uh, 330 ohm okay so multiply them multiplying them together i will get a value of 8.250 volts Similarly, in order to find the value of Vs2, we have again the Ohm's law. So, the value of current is again given, which is the 25 milliamps, okay, multiplied by the uh, value of the resistor, which is in parallel with this source. So, the value of this is 270. So, multiplying them together, I will get 
0.7750 volts okay so now we have found out the values of these two sources which are basically 8.250 volts and vs2 is 6.750 these are our two transform voltage sources but what will be the values of these two resistors so remember when a current source is transformed into the voltage source the same resistor will be in series with the voltage source so the same resistor here which was in parallel with the current source is now in series with the voltage source and the value of that resistor was 330 similarly the value of this resistor was 270 so the same uh, resistors but the transformed version of our sources so now the transform circuit which we have is like okay so this is our circuit the value here is 8.250 the value here is 6.750 polarity here is plus minus 270 330 okay and 150 and we have to find out this current i naught so now let me uh, as this is now a simplified version of a series circuit let me consider a current i naught here okay so let me consider it in the counterclockwise direction and apply the kc kvl here okay let me apply kvl in this circuit so when i will apply kvl i can see here that the both of these sources will be what these will be the uh, voltage rises okay because the current is entering uh, when i'm considering or supposing the current is in counterclockwise direction so it is entering through the negative uh, uh, point in the source and leaving it through the positive uh terminal similarly here in this circuit when the current will reach here it will enter through the negative terminal and will leave out here uh, through this positive terminal so uh, these two v.6750 plus v8250 these two are the voltage rises similarly v70 plus v150 plus v330 these are the uh, voltage drops so simplify simplifying them and finding the value of current which is i not here this one so it will be the summation of the voltage sources 8.250 divided by the resistors okay i hope it this concept is cleared because you know how to find the current in any series circuit which is composed of the many resistors so adding 270 plus 150 plus 330 and uh, it will ultimately give me 8 8 and 9 15 15 divided by the 750 so this will give me the 0 0.02 amps or in milliamps it would be 20 milliampere so this is the answer of our uh, part a of this question in which we have found out the uh, value of i naught by using the source transformation method so now we have to verify the solution whether the quantity we have found out is valid or not whether it is the correct one or not so uh, we have to uh, verify it so in order to verify it let me use the which uh, the uh, node voltage method method because it is given here that i have to deploy the node voltage method so now uh, let me choose the red color here first of all let me go down okay and uh, uh, okay first let me draw the simplified version of my circuit this is the simplified version okay because i know that now i have three uh, nodes this is one two and three as most of the branch 
as most of the branches are connected with this one so let me select it as a reference node okay so now this one will be v1 this one will be v2 similarly it would be 150 uh, this is now 330 uh, this is 270 the direction of current is here this one and uh, this is 25 milliamps similarly the direction of current is here upward so let me call it 25 this is again 25 milliamps i'm not calling it but it is already given so now we have two uh, nodes so let me solve them one by one so at node one so at node one i have three currents um, i1 i2 and i3 so at v1 let me apply kcl so applying kcl i will have i1 plus i2 plus i3 this is equal to zero okay what is the value of i1 i1 is 25 milliamps or i can call it 0 0.025 in amps similarly the value of i2 is v1 divided by 330 i'm right i'm leaving other steps like v1 minus 330 minus 0 because i suppose that it is already known to you guys okay so now what is the value of i3 i3 is the potential difference uh, divided by the resistance so the potential difference here is v1 minus v2 divided by 150 and this is equal to 0 now let me take the uh, lcm of this and it will be 1650 so 1650 multiplied by 0 0.025 this would be 41.25 plus similarly 1650 divided by 330 uh, this will be 5 so 5v1 5 plus uh, 1650 divided by 150 this is 11 so 11 multiplied by this whole term i will get 11v1 minus 11v2 this is equal to 0 okay uh, let me go down <clears throat> so simplifying it uh, the simplified version of this will be the 16 v1 minus 11 v2 is equal to the minus 41.25 so let me call it equation number one okay so this is my equation number one now in order to consider the other other node of this circuit let me call the other node as the voltage here at as v2 and the currents here are let me call them i4 i5 and i6 so according to the kcl again the value of the values of all the current summation of all the currents is zero okay so the value of i4 is again the potential difference divided by the resistance there similarly i5 is the v2 minus 0 divided by 270 and the value of i6 is minus 25 milliamps because this it is in opposite direction as that of i6 so here excuse me minus 25 milliamps this is equal to zero okay uh, so now uh, let me in order to simplify it let me first move this 25 milliamps to the other side so in the at the other side it will become my sorry plus this as this is minus here so it will become plus at the other side or adding 25 milliamps uh, to the both sides of this equation uh, I will get 0 0.025 so now taking the LCM here LCM of 150 and 270 as I have calculated it earlier on in order to make uh, the process very easy so the uh, LCM here will be 1350 and 1350 divided by 150 or multi 1350 multiplied by this whole term will give me the 9 so 9 will be multiplied by these two terms so 9 v2 minus 9 v1 
similarly uh, 1350 multiplied by v2 divided by 270 uh, will give me the 5v2 and this is 0 0.025 okay uh, let me go down here so now in order to simplify it uh, rearranging it and adding the similar terms here minus um, 9v1 plus 14v2 and similarly 0 0.025 multiplied by 1350 multiplying both sides by 1350 I will get here minus 9v1 plus 14v2 is equal to the 33.75 and let me call it equation number two so now i have two equations and two unknowns what are the unknowns uh, unknowns here are v1 v2 similarly here the unknown are unknowns are v1 and v2 so you again can use any method whatever you like to find out the solution of this question you can use the substitution method you can use uh, matrices to find out the solution similarly the gauss elimination method and so on so i have already done it in uh, my work and i find out that I found out that the values of V1 are minus 1.65 volts and the value of V2 was 1.35 volts okay so these are basically our my values here at these two nodes so now in order to find as I have to find out the value of I naught so I know the value of I naught here is the V2 minus V1 divided by 150 okay so let me put values here so V2 is 1.35 minus minus 1.65 whole divided by 150 and similarly it will become 3 divided by 150 or 3 divided by uh, 150 or this is when you will calculate it you will get 0 0.02 amps okay or 20 milli amps so isn't it the same which we have found out which we have found out by using the um, so transformation method so both the uh, answers are same so it means that the method we have tried by using the source transformation is correct and it can give me the same answer which i have found out by using the uh, node voltage method or similar options so this is one of the very convenient method and you can use it uh, in equations or in circuits where there are plenty of uh, sources available and in order to uh, simplify that circuit you can use the source transformation so it was one of the this was one of the exercise questions and we will solve some more questions in our upcoming videos uh, till then take care of yourself and i will see you in next videos thank you so much and i'll see you again